To find the number of atoms in magnesium hydroxide, that's MgOH2, let's write the element symbols down first. So we have magnesium, that's the Mg, and we have an oxygen, and we have hydrogen. So for the magnesium, there's no subscript written, and when that's the case, we just assume that there's a one there. So we have one atom of magnesium. For the oxygen and the hydrogen, the same. There's nothing written right after it, so there'll be one of those but they're in parentheses, and the subscript two, we multiply everything in the parentheses by the two. So two times the one, two oxygen atoms. Two times the one, two hydrogen atoms. If you wanted to know the total number of atoms for magnesium hydroxide, you just add these up. Two plus two plus one, there are five atoms in magnesium hydroxide. Sometimes you're asked to figure out how many, say, oxygen atoms there'll be in one mole of magnesium hydroxide. And we can do that, just multiply the number of oxygen atoms times Avogadro's number here. Two times this Avogadro's number gives us 12.04 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen in one mole of magnesium hydroxide. If we wanted to know how many magnesium atoms, it'd be one times Avogadro's number, which would just be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd magnesium atoms in one mole of magnesium hydroxide. This is Dr. B with the number of atoms in MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.